Hi guys, this is Be Random Tech, and in this HTML tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make custom eBay descriptions. Um, so I'll give you an example. So we'll go into our browser. What's this? Um, go into eBay. And let's just type in something. So let's just say we want to look for a new laptop. So let's click on that one. Now, if we look in the description, it's got all this fancy uh, description. I, I don't know if I probably wouldn't be able to get one this good at the moment. Well, I would, but it would take a long time. Um, and yeah, they've got adverts, they've got buttons and everything. You can see hover over stuff. Now, um, we you can do this. It's just these um, people like these have their shops already. So this is an actual website. It's just they've used an iframe to display it in the HTML. Or you can just go ahead and create your own. So if you're looking for just a quick and easy tutorial, uh, just an in and out one, I'm going to teach you the easy way first. And for people who want to look a bit into more, like actually coding a bit, then I'll do the hard bit second. So I'm going to click sell. Let's just sell something. So let's just say we're selling um, an Intel. Actually, I'll just head over to my website. Oh, I'll just click on downloads. Say I'm going to sell the game thing that I have, but. Um, I know it's free, but we're going to pretend I'm selling it. So I'm just going to save this picture here. Just put it on the desktop. I'll just save it as a JPEG. So now I've got the picture, I'm just going to call it that. So uh, I'll have to do it with a and sell because it obviously doesn't, it doesn't exist. So. So um, it's not, no, it's not a book. Uh, it is. Just say software. It's, I'm not even gonna bother. Actually, I'm just gonna do some stupid things. So I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it's a microphone, even if it's not. And then I'll just ignore all the title and stuff. And then actually, I'll just put it in. And let's just get rid of all of this. Obviously, if you're actually selling something, you would fill all that in, but I'm not going to need to. And add a picture, I'll do that in. So, yeah, let's just add that picture. So this is where the um, main coding comes in. So as you can see, you type out your um, description, so product, and it would all come like this. But if you go into HTML view, now it's given a little bit of HTML, so let's take out that. Now, if I want to display this page here, which tells me all about the site, this is the bit which can be really fast. So you've made your site for your product, You've made the website, you've got a shop, but you want to display it in the description. Let's just open an iframe tag. SLC, and then do the URL. So it's just basically um, HTML all over again. Except we don't put all the standard tags, such as if I just end that down. We don't need to put HTML head, body, etc. Because eBay will already have those in and if we start using them and start using CSS which we can do and start doing it to the body it will not do anything because obviously they've blocked it from changing the actual eBay site and it will not change anything in here. So if you want 
to add like a style tag and add some CSS then what I say you do is you add a div give it an ID and work that because it's not going to work with the standard tags so now we've done that let's just uh, preview it now obviously we haven't set any height and width to the iframe so it's just going to be a little small one but if we go down there's our website in the description so we can get rid of the frame border etc so let's go and do that so let's say height equals 1000 and width equals 500 and I don't actually know how big it's going to be I'm guessing and we're going to get it right so it's made it quite big um, we need to make it a bit taller and we also need to make it a bit wider so the width def definitely needs to be a more than 500 so you want to make it um, uh, let's make it 1500 and let's make this also 1500 So yeah, we've got, uh, it's gone a bit over the page there. We can always squash it down a bit. But yeah, we've got the whole site. And I can even browse the site inside the iframe, which is really cool. So this is how they do it. It's just a quick and easy way. Now, if you don't want to have to go and create a website for your product and then put an iframe in, um, then we can just type in that basic HTML. So let's get out of here. Now, just work with the height and width yourself. I'm not going to bother getting it exact, but let's get on with it now. So, I'm going to remove everything. So, instead of using body and then using style to style the body, let's just put a diff. I'll give him an ID of desk, which is underscore body, so basically the description body. And all my description body or desk underscore body will go in here and then I will use the CSS to style that now yes you could put in a link and relic or style sheet but you would need to take it from an external source and it wouldn't be a local file it would be a file on the web so again you have to make it um, an online file, so I'm just going to put style type equals text forward slash CSS and uh, in here that's where we're going to do it. So I'm just going to put the uh, background well, actually, we need to reference the desk volume. But we can't tab across in the description, that's a bit annoying. Anyway. Uh, background color that is. Um, let's make it red and that preview. It. Now I don't know if it's actually going to show up because we haven't got anything in here. Oh no, it hasn't. Right, let's just add some text. Preview it now. So yeah, we've got uh, this red background here with our text in there. So um, we can now. Let's just increase this font size. So, font size uh, 32, actually, no, uh, 18 pixels. And I'm going to add a title inside of here. And let's just make it a span. No, let's make it h1. Actually, let's just make it yeah, a span. And let's give that an ID of title. So as you can see, it's just basic HTML, but without the HTML body head uh, tag. So we do not include those. And if you you would use divs because you can't reference the body in here. Span ID equals title. Let's just say. Uh, And in here, let's just reference the title. Oh. 
and let's give it a font size of 32px and what's it got that's a great point and let's put some text so now we've got some styling in here it's very basic at the moment it's not really so you might as well just go and make this in the standard eBay description maker but we are going to get there in the end so let's make it even better now I'm going to do some HTML5 or CSS3 now um, don't I don't know if you can use Internet Explorer 9 but I recommend using Firefox or Chrome as they support CSS3 or most of its features so if, if it doesn't work in your browser don't worry but we can do this so desk body let's put border Radius, let's make it 2 em preview now. Now, this is something you cannot do in the standard thing add CSS3 or anything you want. So, look, I've rounded the corners off, that's not off a bit here, but we can add some padding to, um, to push it in a bit. So, padding 10px. Not 20, 10. I don't know if it works if I just refresh this. No, I'm going to have to preview it every time. So, yeah, it's pushed it in a bit. Uh, let's make it bold, add some shadow. So, let's just. I'm just going to show you stuff that we can't do in the normal thing to show how good this is. So, let's just add some text. Now, text shadow does not work in IE9. As it's a CSS3. Now I'm working with CSS3 because um, it's got all cool features in it. Normal CSS isn't really the best. So it's, it's got some shadow on it. Um, I don't know if you can really see it on, when I'm recording it. Um, but we could now add a hover attribute. So when I hover over it, it turns white. Now this is good. Okay, so it's title. Uh, let's underneath let's put hash title hover so we're now just doing the normal CSS and let's change the color to white when we hover over it so this is now something you definitely cannot do in the normal one hover over it change it to white now this is how to make a custom eBay description manually like as you go it does take a long time as you can see we've written all this code here and we've only really come out with this now because I'm teaching it it is going to be slower because I'm going step by step but um, it is going to take a long time so if you're running a website I recommend just making a page uh, about your product and then putting an iframe in quickest thing to do um, but this is how to do it and um, with descriptions that are custom and custom like this and have highlighted stuff and look good the buyer uh, well you think the buyer thinks it's better because it's a bit more professional isn't it so that's how to make uh, eBay custom descriptions with CSS and HTML just remember do not include the HTML body and head tags or any you know tags that are going to be on the eBay page anyway. I mean, you can use divs and all that, but that's just fine. Okay, thank you very much. Be right tech.